Let me take a moment to tell you what motivates me and let me tell you that I am motivated by a vision which exists in all of the great religions in Christianity and Judaism in Islam and Buddhism and other religions and it states so in everything do to others what you would have them do to you. You were in the front lines of trying to desegregate school housing at the University of Chicago. You were even arrested. What was it that motivated a 20-year-old white kid from Brooklyn to do that? As far back as I can remember, injustice uh, is something that I have always fought throughout my life. Really, what we do understand is there is a growing underclass in the United States of America. People who don't feel part of society, they are down below, they have no place to go. What I believe is that this country has the wealth to guarantee free education through college to every child in this country. And we have the capability of providing a national health care system. If you give people hope, if you address housing problems, economic problems, educational problems, you're going to go a long way to cutting the drug problem, and you're going to make this a far more civilized society. And Mr. Speaker, I've got a problem. I've got a problem with a president and a Congress which allows five million children to go hungry, two million people to sleep out on the streets, and they say, we're getting tough on crime. If you want to get tough on crime, let's deal with the causes of crime. Let's demand that every man, woman, and child in this country have a decent opportunity and a decent standard of living. Let's not keep putting poor people into jail and disproportionately punishing blacks. You said something about homos in the military. Was the gentleman referring to the many thousands and thousands of gay people who have put their lives on the line in countless wars defending this country? Regarding global warming, we have a moral responsibility for our children and grandchildren so that 30 years from now, they do not look us in the eye and they say, hey, all the scientists told you what was going on. Why didn't you do something? What we are dealing with is a ruling class in this country who in many ways act like alcoholics and drug addicts. They cannot get enough, no matter how many children live in poverty, no matter how high the unemployment numbers are. They want more and more and more. And I say, enough is enough. But let justice roll on like a river. Righteousness like a never-failing stream. Justice treating others the way we want to be treated, treating all people, no matter their race, their color, their stature in life, with respect and with dignity. I think we need to believe in only leader like Bernie Sanders. I believe Bernie Sanders is a protester. He's not scared. And that's why I'm from Bernie.